I, I guess the biggest highlight, and I guess the most uh, apprehensive highlight, uh, was the fact that the cab had to come off the engine. It was rotted all around the bottom of the cab and it was starting to sag and, and so the whole thing had to be lifted off with a crane and set on the ground and the whole bottom end had to be rebuilt. <clears throat> so while we lifted the cab off, uh, we determined that the base that the cab was sitting on was also pretty badly rotten out. So the, the base come off too. So now we're into a real situation. The base was <coughs> reconstructed and it was put back on. And while the base was off, all the holes were pre-drilled while it was still sitting in here in the workshop. So anyway, that went back on. In the meantime, it took us about two years to rebuild the cab. The whole bottom end had to be welded, cut out, new pieces welded in, quarter plate steel, and all the holes in the bottom of the cab had to be redrilled so it would line up with the holes in the base of the where the cab sat. So the moment of truth was when we lifted the cab back up, we had to make sure that the cab didn't move, it didn't spread, it didn't shrink from lifting it with the cables on the crane, and the cab had to be come down in the exact spot as to where we lifted it off. There's approximately about 32 holes that we drilled separately between the base and the cab. And every single one of those holes lined up that we did not have to drill or re-drill one single hole. And when that cab come down and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, there's got to be at least one hole that's not going to line up. But they, every single one of them lined up. Couldn't believe it. And I think that was probably my most uh, memorable highlight that uh, I can recall.